previously. So, can, I hit, can I hit long rest? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yes, if you're if you're, yes, if you're going to sleep until yeah, until you get your full long rest, you can go ahead and hit long rest. Yay, long rest. <laughs> and I'm um, while this is happening because me, I don't need to outright sleep. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna kind of keep listening for anything that might go wrong while I'm reading. Chilling and relaxing. Okay. Just okay. Alrighty. Did you want to make an investigation check? See if you. Is see if anything. anything yeah. Sure. Huh? Oh God. <clears throat> Which dice is it gonna be? <laughs> I don't think it's kind of pressure. Okay. We'll start bright and sunshiny. Uh, um. Hmm. Uh, so fortunately, uh, fourteen. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Slide this way. Oh. <laughs> 14 14 okay um you hear some stuff going on outside of and probably because your wall is on the other side of the stables um so you hear some movement people are trying to clean up and you know make sure the horses and gather the horses um but you don't hear anything that is um out of the normal okay yeah all right so i'll just keep reading then okay <laughs> at least she's quiet yeah, yeah. This is why you wanted to be roomies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So you guys uh, wake up the next, uh, well, probably in the afternoon <laughs> after getting your, your full rest finally. Uh, oh, we're so yeah. Are we, we exist on this plane? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, what is she asking? Oh, sort of, literal. like okay. the actual map. That's it. I mean, okay. yeah, okay. like we. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you're still in the end. Uh, you're waking up in your rooms, um, and you can go about your business for the day. What do you want to do? I'm already <clears throat> waking. I'm already reading. So you let me know. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go ask around about the? Um, Don, right? The Don, the guy who, the guy who stayed at the inn, right? Don, right. Don, 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 right? Yeah, my notes already. Don, 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 Oh, Why do I have plus three G and ten S? Oh, oh, you got gold silver. Whoa! All right, those notes—they're—they are important. Clarities too. Uh, yeah, I'll go. Uh, I'll go see if shops are starting to wake up. See if there's a bookstore library. It's That's the middle of the afternoon. Saying. I hope they're awake. Oh, right. Because okay, so I, but time doesn't pass very well. Okay, so I leave my room. I okay. can do that, right? Because last time. Okay. Um, I see a lady in the hall. So ladies, not really in the hall. <laughs> like, hey, I'm gonna go head into town. Kind of way. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So um, I'm looking specifically for a library or uh, some sort of informational portal. It's magic. <laughs> Okay, um, so you're gonna ask around. Uh, go ahead and make a investigation check. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, people. Um, like I said, it's kind of the afternoon, and so people are like walking down the street and you know carrying things, and you know you see some travelers um, going through, uh, going through town, and you ask. Um, uh, there's a, a a woman who is going along with her with a small child. Okay. Um, yes, hello. May I help you? Okay. So I whisper over here. Like kids don't like me, so <laughs> you might have to help. Yeah. Like, if, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> hi. Um, did you hear about all the stuff that went down at the uh, what was it, nights restful night? The rest of place. Life. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear about that? Oh my, yes, I did hear about that. Do you know anything about what happened? Have you heard anything? Um, I just heard that the stables were on fire. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they were. I, nobody, nobody got too seriously mm -hmm. hurt, um, except for one guy who apparently killed himself. Oh, yeah. J yeah, don't worry about that. Rumors are horrible things. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know how that 
rumor even got out. Don't even worry about it. Um, do you, was anything weird happening in the town, like the day of or the day before? Anything bizarre happened or funny or just kind of, huh, that's kind of strange? Hmm, nothing that I can think of. It was just a normal day. Can you ask the kid? Because kids know stuff that parents can know stuff. I'm scared of kids. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm addressing the kid now. Um, what have you heard? Have you heard about anything happening in the neighborhood over the past week or so? Oh my gosh, I heard there was a fire. Yeah. And I heard that there were these like little weird like things that were made of like smoke. And my friend, he, he saw he saw it from his window um, out he, from the, the house that's over near the, the inn. And he said he saw these little things made of smoke. Mm -hmm. And then that when they died, it was just this big puff of smoke and it was super cool. I wish I could have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, awesome. Crazy mystical tale. Have you seen, have you heard anything about like snake people in the area? Snake people? No. Are there, there, there snake people? I'm not entirely sure. That's cool. <laughs> well, where's your local library? Um, we actually have um a library and it is <laughs> oh my god. He's like, if you go down this street right here, and you're going to see this big building, and it looks kind of funky because it kind of turns, and you're gonna make a a left <laughs> at that building, mm -hmm. and then you go two buildings down, and it's on the the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so and, then the, the and then the mom goes. He is actually correct. He loves the bookstore. And it is actually called The Nutty Scholar. Yeah. Um, That's and That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. yeah. Nutty Scholar. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. You you remember what he just said, right? Mm -hmm. Down in right. right and then on the right. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's... To the left, to the left. No, not the left. The right. Sorry. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> the left at the big door. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find this wonderful library. Uh, what is it? The Nutty Scholar. The Nutty Scholar. I'm gonna go find my people. <laughs> All right. So, um, so who's going to? Oh yeah, I guess the bookstore. Uh -huh. Ask them if they uh, want to come with. <laughs> sure. So we go so back. Drop on back at the. Yeah. Restful nights. Okay. Wake, wake up. Uh, take Mons. <laughs> George. <laughs> Top of the morning. I would like to come with. <laughs> Do you want to come down to the library with us? Mm. Okay. Okay. I'll go. What about you, Mama I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. So everybody's heading down to the bookstore. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> So uh, you guys leave uh, the rest of night um, and you go in the direction uh, that the little boy pointed, <laughs> which is out the door and to the right. And you guys are, are traveling down this sort of main thoroughfare uh, for the city. And um, it, it about 20 minutes in, you can you start to see this really weird building that he's talking about. And it, it is it's kind of spinny. It's made of like this sort of um dark gray like wooden shingles um and it just looks like something out of um i don't know so like sort of like a a, a witch's lair like some weird is there any sign <laughs> weird building? building um there is not a sign on the building <clears throat> and it's a little bit taller than most of the buildings that are around it so you can see it fairly fairly easily uh, does george <laughs> does she have an idea of what it is um, uh, make an investigation check. I was just about to ask you if you yeah. could, like, do a detect magic or something, George. Or, like, even, like, oh, it's five. <laughs> five? Yeah, it's five. <laughs> okay, so, um, you're not quite sure, like I said, it doesn't have a, a sign out front. Um, so while it doesn't look like most of the other businesses that do have signs, um, that you've passed, um, you're not quite sure what exactly this is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
Keep an eye out for that building team. There's something, <laughs> something sketchy about that building. Do I see a door or anything? A door? There is a door. Yes. I go knock on it? <laughs> no, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Are you really leaking? <laughs> <laughs> so you get all the flavor, Darcy. Do you want me to have it? She's having her They're having a meeting. to the to the door and the door looks very odd as well it looks like this sort of kind of gnarled wood where most doors are fairly smooth this one looks pretty gnarled um and you knock on the door <laughs> okay and it takes uh about eight nine minutes you're if you're if you're gonna wait it's been, it's been, out, it's been out, eight, eight nine minutes I don't want to ding dong ditch. <laughs> okay. Do you, All right. So, do you want us to wait with you, or like, how do you feel right now? Like, do you need to back up? Do you want me to ding dong ditch? No. no. She doesn't want to do that. She wants to see if somebody is gonna come. That's I mean, what she's saying. That's one way to find out. But I don't think I would actually wait more than a minute or two. Okay. I would okay. Okay. Off, like four times and be like, goodbye. Okay. 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 As they right. off to the library. As they traipse, George would like to cast. Detect magic on this weird building. On this weird building. Uh, what's the range on detect magic? Um, it's thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay. Yes. Um, you yes. So yes, you you cast detect magic, and your um, you get these little kind of feelers going out from you, <laughs> and you feel you do feel some sort of magic coming from inside this building. Um, you're getting a couple of blips actually. Yeah. Okay, she goes okay. to catch up with her squad. Okay. All Alrighty, so everybody's heading off to the bus stop? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you turn the corner um, past the weird looking house and two doors down, you do see a sign uh, for the Nutty Scholar. <laughs> Do they have a mascot? Huh? Do they have a mascot? Do they have a mascot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> these, with glasses and you don't see a mascot <laughs> on the uh, on the sign, <laughs> but you do see I'm this a bit of sort of... Yeah. A, a what? A man with this forty or something. Anyway. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's going to be some grizzly old... <laughs> um, you see... Women in cute little <laughs> um sorry uh, on the sign you do see a sort of this uh almost looks like um a, a, like a, a walnut shell but it's like cracked open and inside like are pages of book Ooh, that's like pages. yeah so that's what you see on the sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so um i'm gonna go in okay i'm assuming so, as a business i don't need to knock and announce my presence so i'm just gonna walk into through the front door okay like i belong here <laughs> yeah so you actually you go in um and you hear a little ding 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 ding, ding mm -hmm. from the from the doorway little chimes uh, when the door opens no cats uh no cats. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was actually about to. I was about to. And um. <laughs> Uh, first, upon entering, you don't see um, you don't see anybody at first. Uh, but within about a minute of the the door chime, you see an elven um, person uh, come in and greet you. Oh, yes. Yes. Is it a <laughs> <laughs> Bam! <laughs> um, yeah. uh, I see. Yeah. I have plenty of visitors today. Mm -hmm. yep. How may I be of assistance? Um, well, first, have you heard the latest and greatest about the inn down the street, like the fire and all that stuff? Um, I've heard a little bit about the the happenings of last night. Um, okay. Nothing that I care to nothing talk about. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I mean, bookworms don't mean antisocial. <laughs> Okay, then I I would like to know if there is, I'd like to know a little bit about the history of this town, um, particularly the house that's around the corner from here with the spirally shingle thing. Um, 
do you have any books that speak to that or can you talk about that? Um, yeah, I can give you a little bit of a history on that. I'd have to see if I have any in stock as far as um, history for Chesterfield. Okay. Um, but if I do have any in stock, I can also show you that. But um, from what I can tell you, uh, this a city, I don't know if you noticed uh, upon entering the town. And it's kind of that's late, so. it's kind of late. Okay, so you probably you might not have seen. Um, we are actually surrounded by a grove of chestnut trees. Okay. Um, they are thousands of years old. Um, <laughs> Nothing good happens. <laughs> Things are thousands of years. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and we um uh, we actually cultivate uh these trees um and use the chestnuts for trade and for other things um so if you haven't noticed walking through the town yet um we do love chesterfield and um <laughs> the, the nutty scholar we you know we kind of oh, <laughs> use oh, that I, yeah. we yeah we actually use that in a lot of the town Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, are you aware of anything um, a little odd or off happening the last couple of days? Um, we we happen to be staying at the inn, mm -hmm. and so we're there mm -hmm. when everything happened. Um, oh, and really? the owner, I don't know if you know him, uh, the owner, Don, Mr. Wren. Wren, uh, right? Mm -hmm. I totally remember everybody. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you know him, but he was really worried, and so we all decided to help him out. Okay. So. Um, Anything you can help us understand, we can help him. Also, okay. what is your name? Uh, <laughs> my oh, name, right. yes, my name is Sorrel. Sorrel. Hello, I'm George the Third. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Sorrel. you, George the Third. I I tried to be nice. <laughs> no, you you, you done great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, do you know anything, or did you see anything over the last couple of days? Mm, I can't say that I have noticed anything off the last few days. Um, it's kind of same same thing every day. Do you know why anybody might want to <clears throat> like burn down the stable with the horses and all of that? Do you know anything going on in that particular area? We haven't had many instances of uh people actually purposely setting fires um like that sounded like that was something that was on purpose mm -hmm. but that's not something that that has happened around here in years at least so well, i was wondering if you know anything about the history of mountain people in chesterfield hmm i don't know a lot of the yanti just the basics mm -hmm. um and as far as I can tell, I've never seen one here in Chesterfield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Also, may I ask, um, have you ever met a person named Don? Donnell? Hmm. Does it ring a bell? Mm -hmm. Do they live in Chesterfield? They were they were passing through. In fact, they stayed in the same inn as us. So. Oh, okay. So yeah. <laughs> Just, <laughs> okay, guy so in his 30s. Guy in his 30s. <laughs> And that could be any guy in his yeah. life. Scared. There's quite a, been called quite scared. a few of those. Put in. Oh, scared? In his late yeah. Skittish. Oh. Skittish. No, I can't say that I've seen anybody looking overly skittish mm -hmm. in the last few days. Okay. So other than the books about the area, mm -hmm. is there anywhere you would think to look if you were looking to help out? Mm -hmm. um, what's Ren. his name? George? Ren. Ren. Mr. Ren. Ren. Okay. Hmm. Let me think. I mean, the stables are his, so you really can't go any go to anyone for that. Um, have you thought to ask around as far as the buildings that are around the perimeter um, well, we to see if anybody that, see anything? We did some of that late, like for well, early, mm -hmm. super mm -hmm. early this morning, but most of it was closed and locked down. So, first place I go was the library. So here I am. Okay. So, Mr. Sorrell, may I ask you, where's the hot spot in town? You are 12 years old. I mean, <laughs> I'm hip. Okay. Where, where, is it, where, where does everyone hang out? Where everyone, brings people to Chesterfield? She has no clue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to have fun. Hmm. For someone your age. Oh, wow. 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 Um, hold on, let me see. I assure you, I don't like my girls to be old. Kind of girlish. Um, she's 12, there is 
no, you no, no. would <laughs> you would probably find a majority of the people in the market um mm -hmm. a lot of people go there for trade and stuff so you'd probably find a lot of people in and out in the market um other than that uh we do have let's see uh, if you want to talk to maybe the guards um uh any of the gates will have a station um but also in the marketplace there is a small um a small uh building as well um so you're looking for the Bergarda um that is the town guard Bergarda and other than that I did hear you actually mention the library now this is the bookstore um and yeah. it tends to be a bit more popular <laughs> than mm -hmm. the library because it is a little bit hard to get into the library um, but the library, uh, the Keen Light, huh? the Keen Light, um, that one, if you go, if you're going to the marketplace, the market square, if you go through um, to the other side from here, um, you'll see this, uh, this white alabaster building. Um, and it's, it's kind of fancy. You'll, you'll see it, but it may be hard to get into if you are a, a visitor to the city. Mm -hmm. Who do they allow in? Just locals or? Uh, mainly locals and also other people um, from other um, from other libraries in other cities. Noted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know anything about that building? The one that's kind of twisty? Oh, yeah, that's that? that's the old hag's place. Wow. The old hag. Yeah. She's not taller. She's, she's, not, I, <laughs> she's not very nice. She hasn't been very nice to me. Just not friendly, approachable. Uh, not approachable, and if you do try to approach her, she's usually fairly rude. I can be rude, Dad. Yeah. Does she still live there? Oh yeah. George is. Oh, so she ignored us. Well, she's an old lady. She might have taken a minute to get downstairs. Ten minutes. You know what? You know what? The old ladies all the time. I'm very nice and old. <laughs> And you take a minute to come down the stairs, is all I'm saying. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. Not you look this week. Oh, yeah. Oh. No breakfast for me. I'd like to cast Bay presents on my little people. Okay, so all right. if you mm -hmm. have any books that you recommend, um, okay. and I, are you okay with lending them to me? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, are you, well, this is the bookstore, yes. We don't usually lend books. Uh, okay, well, <clears throat> let me leave the books here and I'll try my hand at the library. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, Just don't tell them all. I have no more, so you can't tell if I'm old or not. <laughs> Alrighty. So, what are you guys doing? I, I want to head sure. further down the street <laughs> to. Yeah. Um, the library and what was the other oh thing? the market square, square. Market square. Yeah, the market square. square. but um i want to try my hand at getting into this library mm -hmm. I want to <laughs> head down. back to the magical building and see if i can um good or evil Ooh, okay <clears throat> all right so you guys had uh we already know there's a magic i'm assuming you told us mm -hmm. yeah. yeah uh you had two doors down um and you cast detect good <laughs> or evil mm -hmm. um and you actually get a feeling for both. So as I said, that there were a few pings when she did uh, hers. So you you get that something there's something good and there's something bad okay. uh, coming from this place. Yeah, this place is very ambivalent. Mm -hmm. Which way it wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Also non-binary. <laughs> wow, y'all. No, actually, quite the opposite. It's very binary and only on the two sides of the spectrum. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, what do y'all want to do? Do you want to uh, wait, look wait. at the um, building and try and wait Who's for what? the old hat? Oh. Mm -hmm. See, how is that more respectful than my same old lady? Oh. <laughs> she goes, she's known so as the old hat. We just get away from the word old. 
<laughs> okay, the hag. <laughs> so the woman that lives there, do you guys it's want to talk to her song. first or do you oh, want to yeah. go down to the market in the library? I think we should go to the library. And then at the, at the market, maybe we can ask the guards what they know about the hag. <laughs> what do y'all think? So my thing is, if that's her reputation with the bookstore owner, the guards aren't, they're going to have their own biases and their, uh, I don't mm -hmm. know. So I think we should go to the library first. And then if we want to know about her, we should probably go ask her, mm -hmm. is, okay. is my yeah. thing. You are maybe she can be very nice. We just have to give her the They can bond over her. Who might have just lost it. Back to the main thoroughfare, um, <laughs> which I'm you were there because you're in the way. My vibe, right? Because yeah. I'm about to be a librarian real quick. Oh, <laughs> on the way, I am going to start going through my pack and putting mm -hmm. my paper and, um, so I can present myself as a scholar to the door. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, you guys uh, get to that main thoroughfare and then you actually hang a, l a left. So you're going away from uh, the rested night. Um, and continuing down that main street. And <clears throat> um, you're walking another, say, about 15 minutes when you, you can start to hear uh, a little bit more noise, the more people um, that you're approaching. Um, <clears throat> and so uh, you keep walking forward and enter into this uh, very large area where there are, on the edges, there are buildings, um, a lot of um, different types of stores, um, and places to buy things. And then also there are carts. So there are people coming in from out of town, uh, with carts, uh, with wares on them basically. <clears throat> and then, um, coming, approaching this opening you on the, the right side before, like right when it starts to open, you do see, um, a few guards uh, standing around outside of a building. Um, and they're just kind of like watching the marketplace, making sure everything is okay. Um, and then actually through the marketplace, you can actually see that building that they were talking about. So it's a white alabaster building. Um, and it comes up, there's a couple of like, uh, there's like two towers, one on each side. And then, um, like this pretty big building, um, which is interesting that they don't really let people in from, uh, <laughs> like outsiders in, uh, being as big as it is, but yeah. yeah it's not <clears throat> unusual for yeah, people to hide information. That's true. Yeah. True. <laughs> okay, so what are you gonna do first? Mm -hmm. Another one. Um, mm -hmm. I yeah, I want to go straight to life because it, yeah. it. I want to know what I'm asking people about, but that's just okay. me. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So, do y'all want to split? Mm -hmm. um, no. George kind of nodding. Yeah, I'm done to split up. I I think George she wants to look up. Maybe something about those elementals. Like, do we know what they're so called? So you're coming into the library. Yeah, I'm gonna come with you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So. So everybody's going to the library. Um, yes. Okay. Okay. First of all, I need y'all to either not say anything or use the big word. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I just need like a clipboard, and I need your assistant. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So wow. do you need glasses too. <laughs> I left them at home. <laughs> I'm telling you, 90% of people think you're smarter than you are when you wear glasses. Just FYI. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go and try to open the door um, to go into so the library. The library. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Upon mm -hmm. approaching the library, uh, there is actually a, a, a guard outside. Of course. Yeah. Um, but this one isn't dressed like the the other guards that you saw. Um, so it doesn't look like a town guard. Yeah. It's a library guard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of Which probably means he has magic powers and other things. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to approach the guard. Have I will he let me to the door? Mm. Or do he I have to pass him? You would have to pass him to get to, to, get the, get door. to the door. Yeah. Okay. Charmin. <laughs> Use your womanly wiles. 
No, you guys are wild. <laughs> I do not wild. <laughs> you don't let me do what I want to do, and that's about it. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> Hello, oh. sir. Do you want to talk? Oh. Okay. Hello, sir. Good evening. Um, I am a visiting librarian, scholar, uh, from just a few towns down the road, and I was told that this is Chesterfield, like, pinnacle of knowledge right here. Um, and so I'm wondering if I can get a day pass or something to read about the history of this area, because I really feel it'll supplement my research um, on the use of local agriculture to sustain local development. Um, and uh, so what what is the process for that, sir? What is your name? Why do you always want to know me? <laughs> Um, well, I was staying at the inn right down the road, the one that caught fire. Yeah, you're not working with me at all. Okay. Um, Clary, that's right. Clary, tell me if you didn't see any of that. <laughs> Clary. Hold on. And he goes, uh, he actually goes in real quick. Um, and the door is still like slightly ajar, so you hear him talking to someone, uh, but you can't quite make out what he's saying. And uh, he comes out and he's like, we have someone checking your access. And so, so you wait, five minutes goes by, 10 minutes goes by, 15 minutes goes by. And you finally hear the door start to open and out uh, comes another guard. And he's like, <clears throat> we do not have your name on our register. You will not be allowed entry. So how do I add my name to the register? You must speak with the elder librarian <clears throat> where you are from. Oh my and he God. must send word. When the door opens, can I misty step into the library? <laughs> um, okay. Mm. All right. You. <laughs> 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 Okay, so you you go to uh, to cast the spell Misty Step, mm -hmm. and you can feel your body start to basically turn into this very light, airy mist. But you're doing it right in front of the guards <laughs> <laughs> because oh. you didn't say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> And they both pull out the swords and go halt. Damn it, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> what? what did I do? <laughs> Sir, why are you drawing your sword? <laughs> and he completely they completely ignore you and go, Aww. what are you doing? I'm sorry, I that's this happens sometimes when I'm really emotional. <laughs> Not just <laughs> 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 he look, make a make a deception check. <laughs> at you and he like completely like believes you he is in amazement and he's just like mouth open like re like really like that look on his face and the other guard the eyebrow up is just like leave okay 
so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to conjure up Silent Bob in the form of, um, I don't know, some vagrant looking thing. And I want to have this image run from around the corner of the building um, <laughs> and seem like he's trying to get go into the side of the guards. Are you casting the spell right in front of them? <laughs> no, I'm I'm just, you know, I'm it's ambiguous. Walk away. Shake <laughs> away. It's, it's fine. Um, they don't the rope. It's just <laughs> 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 He's looking at her and all mad. He's not paying attention to me. I'm gonna say make a to see if you can pull this off. Mm. Because one of them is already highly alert, I'm going to say make a deception check with disadvantage <laughs> to see if you can pull this off. And I'm gonna be walking down the steps and occasionally turning into. Oh my god! Joy <laughs> would never let this happen. You see what yeah. happens when you're out here, to Joy. <laughs> oh my god! What was it? Um, so with my bonus, it's an eight. It's an eight. Okay. Um, yeah, the, oh. <laughs> the guard oh, actually right. catches right. your, <laughs> that's the tray. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to shame the tray. Of course. Uh, so yeah, the guard absolutely you sees the, the, the movement of your hands and you actually trying to cast the spell. Perfect. And so he... Even Silent Bob even comes around the corner and he just, he looks at you and he's like, you all need to leave right now. Okay. Yes. Do not come back. Let's go, guys. Bye, we're sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> trying to learn. So okay. me and her start to walk away if y'all want to try something, because clearly mm -hmm. my dice are not in my face. Uh, I'm heading back over to the Fisty building to play music and see if I can draw the old lady. Or the hat. That's like the drop hat. Is it? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Did you play this with our session? I thought we were going to talk to the guards. Mm -hmm. Is he a bad hat? No. Mm -hmm. I want to ask about the hat. Oh, okay. Is this like the hat? Has a bad the hag. The, the, the woman. Oh, <laughs> hag. I'm pretty sure I said the hag, but whatever. <laughs> well, we're gonna ask said hag. Oh, okay. We're gonna ask about hag. You just renamed hag. We don't know okay. anything about Doc yet. Remember him? Yeah. That's um, true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna ask around. So I'm gonna go turn around and go to the market. Okay. I haven't forgot about this building yet, but okay. Um, I just can't clearly do anything in front of me. <laughs> Okay, uh, so yeah, you go. You guys go back to the make your way back to the market, and what are you gonna do at the market? All right, right. guard, you said. Yeah, George is gonna beeline for these regardas. Okay, regardas. Regarda. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, um, happy morning, <clears throat> Mister Regarda. I am George the Third. Praise Dira. Um, how are you, good men today? <laughs> he looks down at the twelve-year-old. <laughs> Really nice 12 year old and very yes, polite. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's like, I feel like he's ageist already. Mm -hmm. He's ageist already? Mm -hmm. I feel it too. Yeah, I'm George, George, mm -hmm. looking down on my hat. <laughs> well, she's short. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Hello, child. Hello, sir. George is the name. What is your name? George. Yes. Uh, my name is Sean. Sean? My brother's name. Cool. <laughs> okay, Sean. All right, Mr. Sean, I'm just passing through the town with my squad over here. Well, I'm, just, I'm assuming they're all running around different directions. <laughs> she motions to everyone. Um, and I, um, do you have some time to talk? Sure. You know, you know, I, I, you know, we were just passing around town. We noticed that building with the old hag. I've heard they call her that. That's not very nice. But do you know anything about her? We feel like we could be the ones to turn her not into a hag, but into a woman. You know. <laughs> well, he actually yeah. starts like kind of laughing a little bit because <laughs> he's got this twelve-year-old mm -hmm. asking about. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and he's like. <clears throat> Uh, yes, we get a lot of questions about that building and the and the hag that lives inside. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a, a town joke, as it were. Oh, she's a joke? 
or it's uh, uh, just just the story. So she's not old at all. Oh, interesting. Well, okay. So I'm sorry. She is old. She doesn't look like an old hag. Um, <laughs> but she can be quite mean, which is, I think, where the name comes from. Interesting. But uh, yes. Just call her the bitch. Yeah. Wow. Mama Vakri. Sean is trying to talk to us. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, she can be quite rude to to several people, um, and so yeah, the name kind of stuck, um, and everybody ends up telling that story. But <clears throat> so, what did she do that? What, how did she earn this great nickname? At this time, I'm walking up and I have a grocery. Okay, just hearing this great story. Um, I'm putting my disguise together so I can get into this in library. Okay. <laughs> Um, her name is Zanir, and she she's lived in the town for quite a while. Um, I would say probably 120 years. Oh, wow. Wow, so mm -hmm. she is an old hag. <clears throat> <laughs> you said 20 years? 120 years. 120 years. <clears throat> she is of elven descent, and by any chance... Did you stop by the Nutty Scholar? How did you know? We met somewhere else just a moment ago. Ah, yes. Probably they had a bit of um, a falling out. Lover's quarrel? Mm -hmm. A lover's quarrel? Exactly. Well, Sora so, so, uh, was quite handsome. Exactly. So. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, do you happen to know why she doesn't leave her house? Because we, we knocked on her door and she didn't answer. We were going to play music for her. Oh, she doesn't really answer the door. She comes out, she comes and goes when she wants, um, which isn't very often, but she doesn't really answer her door unless she knows someone is coming for her. So what if we beat on the door for like a good 10, 15 minutes? Uh, trust me, it has been tried. Okay. Seven. Okay. Seven. okay. Does she know anybody's coming for her? She doesn't answer the door. <laughs> it's true. Well, what if they if she sends for someone <laughs> oh. or something like that, yes. What were some of the things that... Um, <clears throat> She and Sorrel bonded over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. A snack, perhaps? A snack! <laughs> <laughs> or you can make it and you can smell it. Well, yeah. they help you in the old age. I don't know too many of the details um, of, of their love story. I just know it was a very large, very um, expensive falling out Ooh, wow. as a couple of, of <laughs> as a, a couple of buildings were possibly uh, brought down. In what way? Um, <clears throat> as in some magical powers mm. were used in this fight, and who won? I would say no one at this point. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, that was powers. well over 60 years ago. Did those ma magical powers <clears throat> look like fire? Mm, no. <clears throat> Good story, Sean. That doesn't really explain why you call her old hag, but it sounds like they're Like I said, that's sort of the town joke. Mm, see, yeah. Have she... you ever seen her? Uh, a few times, yes. Mm. What does she look like? She is actually, um, <clears throat> uh, like she has this golden skin and this sort of, um, blondish, almost gold silk spun hair. Um, yeah, she's probably about five, seven or so. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, wow, you you'll see her, it. she usually ends up in some sort of robes or whatever. Um, sort of, uh, not very bright, colorful, but not bright. Um, usually what I see, I've seen her maybe about half a dozen times and that's usually what I see her in. Oh, she's mm -hmm. like the Chesterfield celebrity. Oh, really kept your eye on her. Well, you are a guard. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> You're very nice, Sean. I like you. Is that all you were watching? Huh? What do you mean? Nothing. Did you by chance see last night? <laughs> Nobody yeah. let her ask questions. <laughs> That's why I don't ask questions. Let me meet the doctor. Did you see anybody 
came yesterday from the fire mm-hmm. thingy, and we were in the midst of it, and we saw these cloaked figures run in the dark. We couldn't, even some of them were flying. Did you see any of that? Um, I did not see any of that. Um, I was not on shift. I was. Do you know who was on sleeping. shift last night and see the hmm. like, south direction they were going? In Let me or... think. I huh? Nothing. <laughs> it's a big city. <laughs> Um, man. Uh, let me think. I believe. What time is it? And he, he's kind of he's looking at, at the sky, uh, looking at kind of where the sun is, and he's like, mm, "It's you're probably not gonna find anybody on shift just yet. Maybe another three hours or so." Um, that was on that shift, but I would say uh, check around um, the. The Western Gate, um, and that's that's actually the gate that you guys entered the city in, because um, that's actually pretty close to uh, the rest of night. And you'll see that most of those people are probably going to be the same ones that are on shift. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, about about three hours, about about three hours or so. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> You're welcome. Is there anything else that I may help you with today? How are you today? I'm I'm good. You're very nice, Sean. I thought I'd tell you again. You're thank being you, really helpful. You. Uh, do y'all have any questions for him? I think I asked him. No? I don't. I right now I am a little annoyed that this guard did not let me into the library, and so I am track mine. While right. while this is happening and y'all are talking to the guard, I am creating a pass essentially. Um, because maybe not right away, but eventually I will get into that <laughs> And unless y'all want to, like, get into a fight, I'm trying to get us in with Alex. Why does she sound like Arwen right now? Wait, like, who? I don't think she's going to try and hurt him, though. Yeah, and that's really good building. <laughs> no, I'm trying to avoid that. I'm trying to be a nice last resort. Nice. Um, okay. So that's what I'm doing, but I have to wait to let them think that I actually went a few towns over. Okay. Okay. For now. All right. So okay. I don't have anything for the guard because mm-hmm. I really, obviously, I haven't been even really paying attention too much mm-hmm. for this. Um, but I will go walk through the market and see if I see anything odd, suspicious, or um, <clears throat> like the people that ran away or um, somebody who looks like they don't belong there, whatever that might be. Okay. Make a perception check. Escape me today. I'm gonna try it later. 15. 15? Okay. All right. So while you guys are walking through, you're gonna be looking to see if you see anything kind of out of out of place. Okay. Somebody roll a pattern. <laughs> 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 Do I see any halflings around? Um there are there are a few halflings around actually. There are actually several in this uh in the city. In black robes. Cloaks. Make a perception check. <clears throat> oh, I won. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> better <laughs> Better joke. <laughs> so better. better. Oh, geez. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, you guys are, are walking throughout the uh, the market square. Are you guys looking for anything in particular? Just kind of, just kind of um, wondering and and, and yeah. looking. I'm looking okay. for right. someone, something that looks a little off. Okay. I'm also mm-hmm. looking for things that might help in my future okay. getting past guard. Okay. The library. So I'm I'm looking for useful things. Okay. Useful people, useful things. All right. All right. So yeah, you guys are kind of wandering throughout the market square. Um, and it's it's a pretty busy day. Um, there seems to be a lot of travelers in town uh, selling wares, um, and business seems to be booming pretty pretty well for everybody right now. Um, <clears throat> in about twenty minutes of walking throughout the the square, uh, you do catch sight of. Um, a, a few cloaked figures, um, and they, they're in like black, black cloaks. Um, there's about three different ones, um, and they're not together. 
<clears throat> but you do like notice sort of almost at the same time you do notice uh, these figures. So who <clears throat> wants to pair up and <laughs> watch them? Watch them or fight them? Yeah, you follow. Yes. Okay, you follow one. I'm gonna follow one. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. I'll go with Moss. With Moss, okay. Yeah. You gonna follow? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna follow. You follow another one, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, should we don't be kind of split those chakras? Okay. At work. I'm gonna stand back and watch. Okay. And see. So there are there are like I said there are three. Uh, two of them are about the same height. Uh, probably around the five six area. There's one that's a bit shorter, um, probably about the five foot um, like area. And uh, so you taking one of the the tall ones, uh, you notice. Actually, make a perception check. That's what you notice. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so you notice that this person um, seems to be shopping, but not. So they're going around and they're they're talking to people and they're kind of looking at things. They're not buying anything, but they also seem to be like their eyes seem to be like roving Trying as well. So they're the they're looking. The land, basically. So you're not exactly what you're not exactly sure what they're looking for, but you you can see that they're a little bit more watchful than most people that are around. Right on the okay. Yeah. Hmm. So that's the, the you two see. Um, you make a perception check. Yes, for the other, the taller person. All right. <laughs> Ten. Ten. And okay. Mine is, yeah. Um, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. So for the ten. Um, uh, this person seems to be shopping. This one actually has bought um an item. Um, it looks to be some sort of cloth, um, a bit colorful, um, not very big. Um, you can't really tell if this one is really like watchful or anything, but this one actually does seem to be doing some shopping. Okay. Um, on your end, the shorter one ends up kind of doing this zigzag around the market. Um, and they're t stopping and looking at a few things, not really talking to people. Um, but they, this person is definitely looking for something or someone. And they, they're not being very, uh, they're not being very subtle about it. Um, he, like, they're, like this person is trying to be subtle. They're like, so it looks like they're trying to, the you know, um to shop but they're not engaging with anybody um when they come to like a stall or you know or anything but definitely looking for someone they're just like the worst vibes. and yeah this one is <laughs> this one this one is the absolute worst mm -hmm. like i said it's exactly like keep going through and they're just yeah it's the worst vibes. yeah it's the worst all right <clears throat> we're all split up at this point right yeah yeah mm -hmm. they're like used to it together and then you and I are together? I thought we were no, together. I'm trailing these two because I get the most trouble. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I was going to actually suggest somebody bump into them and cause a scene. Yeah. You would be the bumper. Mm -hmm. should be the actually, bumper. I was going to make George do it and like, what are you doing to my child? You're, you're a cat. You're a cat. Doesn't matter. I can adopt. <laughs> <laughs> I can adopt. You know what? I like that idea. You like that idea? Okay. It would make, be more, make more sense if Mama was the Mama, though. Mm -hmm. You don't know, probably. Oh, I'm going to be pretending to be. Nice. Have on this. I'm going to scale into the crowd uh -huh. so where he can't see me when okay. they do what they do. So okay. if I can see a chance to open and get something, whatever he can. He has anything on him? Okay. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make it a self check. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 22. Is it, she's got that little one. 22. Yeah. Mine does that. Like, yeah, these things are like, oh, that was so good. Like, you all over the place. I was so like, sorry. No. 22? Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, as you guys are kind of like figuring out what you're going to do, uh, the person that you're following and the 
the one that you guys are following actually meet up um, at some point, and they're they're having a very hushed uh, conversation. Uh-huh. Okay, and so you so make you make your time, way kind of around I'm and yeah. Ask mm-hmm. by Mama mm-hmm. and just say we're definitely looking for something mm-hmm. for someone. But I'm just passing by. We don't know each other. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. with your child. All right, okay. so George. And as she passes by, I flip her in the back of the head. <laughs> wow. Nice touch. <laughs> All right. So, okay, George takes out her Bible. And she's clutching her Bible. And uh-huh. she sees those two people hushed tone. Uh-huh. Okay, she walks by. And she, in very exaggerated, she bumps into one of them, drops her Bible. Like, oh, no, my worship book. Oh, George. George, George, be careful. <laughs> My new worship book. I'm sorry, Mama. Make, <laughs> yeah. Make a deception okay. check. Oh, Actually, or should I do performance? Is uh, that, that's, I'm bad at both. So. Are you bad, <laughs> You're bad at both. I don't help. Uh, Come on, I, she is part okay, of so what I'll humble. do is I'll give you a performance check with advantage with Mama because she, she's quite the it's performer. <laughs> okay, that's a five. <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, 10. 10, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> okay, all right. So <clears throat> you end up uh, <laughs> bumping into uh, the the shorter one uh, that met up with the one that you guys were watching. Mm-hmm. And... Um, <clears throat> And of course, he sees this child like kind of stumble, and he's, he's, he goes to grab you. He's like, "Oh my God, are you are you okay? Are you okay, sir? Are you okay? I kind of I fell on you pretty hard. I apologize. <laughs> it's a little hair flip. <laughs> 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 I'm really nice. Okay. Um, he's like, "No, no, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm I'm much bigger than you. Are you are you okay? Are you okay? Well, I just saw you talking so intensely with your friend. I just hope everything's okay, uh-huh. right, Mama?" Yeah, it's just, I just, you just can be so clumsy sometimes, we can. You I have to be careful. <laughs> I'm just so scared after the accident last night with the fire. I'm just I really know, scared. I know. And someone got stuck me. in our room and everything. <laughs> wow. I know we were in that room. Okay. Oh, wow. That was a lot, Mama. <laughs> so, <laughs> Curse the men that did this. The, That's all I'm saying. The, the sh- <laughs> So the the shorter uh, the shorter then you you as you're closer you can actually like see uh, at this point and um, and the shorter one actually isn't much bigger than you. <laughs> you oh, know, like they said they were yeah um, this is actually a, a woman and um, she she looks to be maybe like mid twenties human um, the taller one who has sort of kept his this face away from you guys um it still has the cloak on so you really can't see uh what this person looks like he gruffly grabs the shorter one and is like come on and like holds her off mm-hmm. so there's no opportunity to grab anything mm-hmm. i could see anything that they had on them uh it's a bit of a uh, you try to like grab something off of which one the one that was basically distracted. Distracted one. Okay. Yes. Um, go ahead and make a sleight of hand check. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Sleight of hand. Straight sleight of oh. hand. <laughs> oh, baby <thank you>, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. God. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> 25. Wow. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, All right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, in this little bit, this little exchange with the kind of stumbling and the, hey, are you okay? You're actually, you, you walk by them. Not really at a, not really at a quick pace, but just at a, at a normal pace. And you're able to just kind of slide into the robes of uh, the woman. (laughs) (laughs) This is where we get up nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so we can have friends. Yeah, so you're able to just slide your hand into uh the, the woman's robes and you pull off a um uh a, a vial that's kind of hanging from her belt. 
And then as you do that, you actually, you can't get it because of where it is, but you do notice that there is a, a slight imperfection in the arm of her robe. Um, you, you notice that it's a bit, it's a bit weighted. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and she's got something up her sleeve. Huh? Yeah. Literally. Yeah, li- yeah. Literally. Yeah. Literally has something up her sleeve. Can I hmm. use my, um, can I use my mind link, uh, okay. to the older gruff guy and, mm-hmm. uh, basically <clears throat> clean over to him. Uh, this is how you would treat your mother. Okay. Good. Red son. <laughs> um, <clears throat> do I need to check for this? This is not intimidation. Uh, not really perception. Okay, we'll, we'll do it straight. All right. <clears throat> so you see, uh, from the from the back, he's he's. They're kind of moving fairly quickly, but you see the cloaked head, sort of like like kind of jerk up and kind of start looking and he goes to to turn around and right when you just about to get a side profile he snaps back so I, and he, they start like almost at a run at this point is he dragging her yeah yeah at this point so she's having a hard time keeping up with this uh with this person because, long short or because she doesn't want to be there um, I think it's more because she's short. Mm, can I trip them? Oh, they're, they're they've been, they've gone. been, yeah, they've been gone. So yeah, at this point, like I said, they're running and then all of a sudden they, they turn a corner and go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't run after them? Uh, if you want. I mean, I'm still, so, I will help them. Okay. okay. So <laughs> hold on a second. So, uh, you two mm-hmm. with your person, are you still watching? Well, I wasn't watching. I was like. Because I'm still kind of annoyed about this whole library thing. <laughs> so I've not been following, but I've been kind of oh, wait. back watching what's happening. Oh, wait, no, no, no. She that was, was yours. You got you had the short one, right? Yes. Okay, no, it was the other one you were watching. So at this point, you're not watching that person anymore, and they're they they they're gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The short one? Or no, the other tall one. Yeah. No, no, it was the other tall one. Because, uh, yeah, the, so I'm the, the tall one that Maz and George was following was the one that met up with yours. And then she got in on the deal with you guys. And so the other one disappeared within that, that time. So, yes. So, um, so you wanting to follow. Okay. Um, yeah. So you, are you running? Are you, you're running at this point? Okay. Um, Yeah. It'll be a little harder to stealth if you're actually like full out running. Okay. Okay. Um, (laughs) Like everybody's going to notice that. Away from me or toward me? Um, they are actually because I was kind of still hanging back, back near the wherever. Um, I don't even know which direction we walked in from that anymore. Okay, we've been walking through You're the market, not but I've just so. been hanging back. Yeah, our person's so. gone. Your person's yeah, there. Yeah. One track line thinking about okay, the so line. thinking about the way that they took, no, they did not run past you. Okay. Yeah, so they kind of ran away from you because you were still on the other side. They actually. Right. Ran past where Maz was before you went and, and got what you got. So, yeah. Um, yes. Got what I, got. This what I get a viable option. Uh-huh. Can I run into the person that I've been following like, just straight on, mm-hmm. grab her by the shoulders, and come in? Uh, well, you gotta, you gotta, like a baby. <laughs> you gotta yeah. catch up to them at this point because they've been, they've That's been running. Oh, yeah, no, 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 this is the one that, that the girl was the one that you, you were following the short right. one. Yeah. And so the, the taller guy grabbed her and started, oh, they started, right. they started rolling. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So if you guys are giving chase, uh, through the market square, um, <laughs> I, I mean, wait. Uh, like, this is why you have George. George is <laughs> twelve and young. So, right. Because I'm really like <laughs> she's struggling. Huh? A very long stride. So I yeah. bet you do. Uh, Incredibly uh, athletic. <laughs> <laughs> and humble too. So as I said, this this place is a bit busy, so you're gonna have to be dodging uh, a few people. Um, but yeah, you start uh chasing. And let me have, hold on, let me get to the 
roughly. Can I just together. run and then misty step in front of her? Mm-hmm. That would freak her out. Now, well, uh, I mean, they probably would. At this point, the they're a little bit further ahead than the Misty stuff, because the Misty stuff is 30 feet, right? Yes. It is. Okay. okay. So. But she could use her dash action. Uh. Sure. That's, 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 that, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's all he does. Okay, so. Let's see. Hold on a second. Okay, so what we're going to do. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna make we're gonna make this easy. I'm gonna have you guys roll for initiative. Oh my God. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I wasn't even in this one. Ten for me. Ten. Okay. Oh my God. That's ten. Okay. Um, eight. Oh, I got eight too. Eight. Okay. And who said sixteen? Me. Your butt uh, legs. Okay. Uh, not here. And George. I got twenty. Twelve. Okay. Wow. Alrighty. Oh, man. He said I was young, right? Energetic. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, for some reason, I can't imagine her running. I just see her skipping at a very fast pace. <laughs> oh, no, already the Probably one. yelling the love of whatever deity she's. D Rod. D Rod. I don't know this child. child. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so. Before the round actually starts, they are about 50 feet. Well, actually, you can't tell how far they are from you because they turned a corner. But the corner is about 45 feet from you that they turned. Okay? Mm. So, George, what are you going to do first? I'm going to ask the team. I think it would be extra if I threw a fireball at them. <laughs> Wait, you, can, you can't. Well, right around. now you can't see them. Oh, I can't see them. Okay. No, no, because they just turned a corner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It, 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 it 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 fireball in a crowded market square. Guys, all right. Fire at night, right? Again. Um, you know, George. Uh, she's just gonna keep chasing after them. Okay. Hopefully, can see like if she chases them a little. Does she have view of them? Um. So yeah, you run uh thirty feet. Um. Yeah, you quite can't quite see them yet because you're not. Quite to the corner. Mm-hmm. Um, you got another what, fifteen feet? Okay. Before you hit the corner. Um, okay. I can't do anything. Sorry, guys. So nothing else on your turn. No. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> okay. I know what he's doing. Do I don't like this face. Well, you can't see, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Come on, why don't I know what he's doing? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't see. Who is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, I want to know now. Do, do, do. All right. Not a... So me. Um, how far away? Are, are from the we... corner, you're about forty five feet from the corner. Um, yeah, about forty five. Because they've like dipped around the corner and they just come right up to me. So like, okay. <laughs> um. <clears throat> so I guess I will double dash over. Okay. And, like flatten myself out. No, I can't because I wouldn't even make it to the corner, would I? Yeah, if you dash, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dash would be, because you're, you move, um, 30 feet? Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, that would be 60 feet, okay. uh, for a dash. Um, well, then I'm going to do that, but I'm going to stay on the other side of this corner and try to, like, listen in to what's happening. Okay. Okay, so you're going to go 45 feet. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> so you get to... <laughs> You get to uh He's from your friend. <laughs> you get to the corner and you don't hear anything. Did they get emotional? <laughs> Did they get emotional? <laughs> That's gonna be a new thing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so the end of your turn. Anything else? All, you? the town. All right, Mama Bakri. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to run around the corner. <laughs> I'm going to look for him. Double dash? Mm, I have 30 feet, right? 30 and then, yeah, plus the I guess so. 60. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you actually uh, pass by Helanus and you go around oh, the corner. Dang. Oh, wow. This is braver than you. I'll just leave like these. <laughs> And you don't see anything. I don't. Nope. Mira, mis cabrones, ¿dónde fueron? 
Uh, I'm gonna be like, um, do you think maybe they went invisible? Or did they take flight? Can I see anything? Like, do I see any blips or do I see like things moving that shouldn't necessarily be moving? Uh, you don't see anything, uh, in the sky, no. Yeah. Uh, moon. Okay, um, you're actually further back because you were, yeah, yeah you weren't with everybody. Uh, yes, uh, so so um, it would take you sixty feet just to get to Havana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna just regular. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep moving. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take my thirty feet. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to be watching around to see if I see anything because I didn't really see what happened. Mm -hmm. Um, so there could be more bad guys yeah. around. Um, so I'm gonna. Take, I'm gonna move that way, but not necessarily running. I'm gonna be like looking and watching out. Okay. To see if I see anything else. Okay. All right. Um. Gotcha. Okay. I know what that person's doing. Maz, yeah. you're up next. Um. How tall are the buildings? Um. The for where? Like yeah, in the market square? Year. Yeah. Or well, where are you going? Because you're still back. I know. So we're there next to, or just in the market square? In the market square. Okay, yeah. so the buildings, there are mostly one story, like a little bit taller than one story, but there they <laughs> probably isn't a second floor. They're just kind of like like vaulted or whatever you call that. Um, but uh, there are a few two-story buildings um, as well in this area. There's like one that's an inn uh, that you can tell that's a two-story building. <sighs> I am not... <laughs> even, though, even though it doesn't cost me any extra movement, right? Because then I feel like I'm gonna fall on my ass. <laughs> so <clears throat> I will just uh, use feline agility and catch up with everybody else. Okay. Mm. Uh, how how far does that put you? Is that sixty as it's well? Double. Double. Yeah. So sixty. Okay. All right. So um, so are you going to Mama Bakri? Then she went sixty feet. Yes, I am okay. going to mom. Okay, yeah, so you end up um, in the alley, the opening of the alley <laughs> as well, um, a little bit further in, and again, you don't see um, anything. Do I smell them? Do they stink? They're running. Mm. They could be sweating. Mm. I can smell them. You have good smell? Yeah. You, you, she has a cat. Don't you oh, have that, right. like, a little thing for smell? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to think. Hmm. I'm not sure that you do. No, I thought it wouldn't be another action. It may be features, <clears throat> possibly. I feel like my chair is going down. Am I low? No, I'm not. Okay. What's up? I felt like I might be lower for some reason. But... Perception. Okay, so nothing, nothing would smell. Okay, um, I'll just give you a straight uh, perception check. See if you can suss out anything. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that's twenty. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did we have a nat twenty last time? Other than me? I think we had one. Yeah. One. Okay. All right. So I was, I remember I had, I had one and then, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. For sure. For sure. So, um, <laughs> you run into this alleyway and, um, <laughs> you smell several different things because it's an alley. Uh, <laughs> so you smell, um, maybe like some rotted, like vegetables or something. Mm -hmm. Um you get the faintest whiff of pee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's interesting. laughs> Evil pee. Mm -hmm. And um you do get a bit of uh a bit of an odor of sweat. Alright. Can I tell them which direction is it? Can I tell which direction is coming? Uh, no, no, it's too bad. Yeah. It's just sort of an overall thing, not I something that. I smell sweat and urine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be in New Orleans, it could be in New York, like anywhere where there's an alley, really. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, pretty much. It's, Good it's, job. It's an alley. We appreciate you. <laughs> I feel like we're too high territory now. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, please. please, God. No. <laughs> wow. That is your cat. <laughs> that is your cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is why I follow most. <laughs> <laughs> so, top of the round, George. Man, what are you okay. doing? We don't know which way they're going. Um, is there only one way to go? Pretty much. Uh, the alley comes out uh, on on one direction, so it just it's just straight, and it's like the next uh, street over. Okay, well, I'm just gonna run down there. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, um, runs off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna see, get okay. my eye on them. Okay. Are you doing just thirty feet, or are you gonna double? Or... Am I allowed to? All right. You can double, but it uses your action, so you wouldn't really be able to do anything once you got to the end of it. Okay, I'll double it then. Double it. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, you actually mm-hmm. with uh, <laughs> with doubling, you almost get to the the other side um, of the street, and uh, you are about fifteen feet from the street in mm-hmm. front of you. Um, Make a perception check. Okay. Remember to scream, stranger danger. <laughs> stranger danger. Don't pick any candy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's 18. 18, yes. okay. Um, so you get down to the end of the alley, and you... Let me check that. Oh, yeah, okay. So <clears throat> you hear the slightest scuff in front of you. Mm-hmm. Um, you're not sure exactly how far. It's not like directly in front of you, but it's it's kind of up ahead, and you heard just this bit of a a scuffy. You don't see anybody um in the area that you can see at the moment. Mm-hmm. I but, just hear a scuff. Yeah, you hear like yeah, like a you know a foot maybe scuffing against the ground or something like that. Okay, I tell everyone keep going. I hear I heard a scuff. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know, people walking in the street. Oh, but our people. I think it's our people, Mama. <laughs> you heard a scuff. Do you know like where? Mm, we're just down the street. Well, past this alleyway. Well, there's only one way to go, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's only, yeah. We're just like so deeper. it's just so down, deeper down there. Mm-hmm. Like, but you can't tell like how far away it is. No. Like Unfortunately. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's see. All right. I know what he's doing. All right. Uh, we don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, Invisibility. Yes. So <laughs> I'm thinking if they were like 50-ish feet ahead of me anyway mm-hmm. at this point, I'm going to, let's see, where can I get from? How far away can I cast it? Because you're going to come to me. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I'm going to um, cast Moonbeam. Okay. Oh, I'm going to turn okay. the corner, right? I've okay. been around the corner already. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to cast Moonbeam about 60 feet out. Just 60 feet straight in front of you? Yeah, down okay. the alley to okay. where, wherever George is like, the scuff is like right over there. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, all right, I'm going to cast Moonbeam okay. over there. All right. Um, Do you have to roll for that, for Moonbeam? <clears throat> I'm trying to think. No. no. Right, okay. So, because you can't see them, though, it's it's harder. Let me see. How do I do that? It's not dark at this point, right? It's no, it's not dark. Yeah, it's still daytime. But because yeah. there's no one to actually, like, point it at, right. um, that's what's making it hard. So, I'm going to do a little roll real quick and see where you are. Like, yeah. They'll just, like, burst into flames. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is cool. This is cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, but is okay, it possible? It's light. Spells. Yeah. Like, no, I'm no, sure it doesn't. No. <laughs> no, it just puts like a light around the Yes, yeah, no, well, it's just a, a, a beam of light in a five foot square, technically, uh, but it, that does like radiant damage if it hits. Yeah, yeah. it makes them engulfed in ghostly flames and causes searing pain. Yeah. I don't want it to last a minute, though. I just want to. <laughs> And see okay. if they're there. Okay. <laughs> and to get something. Okay. Just a little singe. Yeah. Like a little peep shot. <laughs> Just so that you know. <laughs> okay. So. Um, <laughs> you run up uh, into the, the mouth of the alley and you shoot the moonbeam at a sort of random uh, area in front of George. And... The beam just comes and goes, and you don't. Nothing happens. Yeah, nothing okay. happens. Yeah. 
Dang. If it was Dang. a shapeshifter, they would have to brew with disadvantage. So <laughs> cool. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. So the end of Pilanes' turn. Mambo Bakri. I am going to... Yes, very fire. Very fire? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the... Uh... It's still showing, but it's also showing a network error. Any pictures? Yeah, it's showing just a lag. Yeah, lag is a lag. Okay. Well, still showing pretty decent on there now. Ish. Okay. Um, it is a dexterity saving throw and it's a 20 foot cube. 20 foot cube. Okay. And you just outlined in violet light. Okay. That's my choice. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you Your running up? Because you. Yeah, I'm okay. going to. I'm going to. Um, yeah, I'm going to. Um, actually, I'm going to do it in the alley. Okay. And I'm going to pick a side. And it's a 20. How, how wide is the alley? Uh, the alley is about 10 feet wide. Okay, so then it will cover the entire thing mm-hmm. and then 20 feet. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to cast it in the alley mm-hmm. and hope to goodness that um, it beams somebody. Okay. Um, so in front of George, uh, how many feet in front of George? Because she was 15 feet from the mouth of the alley. Um, actually, I'm going to cast it behind her. Okay. Because I think maybe they're hiding in the alley. Okay. All right. Uh, how many feet behind George? <laughs> um, uh, and Maz, you didn't you didn't smell where the sweat might be coming from? What direction? Just here. Mm-hmm. She didn't. I don't know what she's doing, but no, she didn't. Well, <laughs> you didn't smell where the where the sweat might be coming from? Well, she didn't let me. <laughs> she didn't way. let me. <laughs> <laughs> It's God. hard to get a direct bead God, on is. sweat. <laughs> okay. well, I mean, especially yeah. where, especially with so dog, many people she... around you. Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do it like because it's 20 feet. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like, uh, I don't know, I guess about 20 feet in front of me and about 20 feet from from George. And, okay, and right. just and I know it's gonna engulf the whole 20 back there. Okay, all right. That's okay. nice, very fair. Alrighty, so you cast Fairy Fire, and you see these little beads of lights, almost look like little, just like floating LEDs, <laughs> uh, floating in this 20-foot uh, cube uh, in front of you, and um, it nothing is revealed. Oh. Why would you do this before? We keep losing, we've never... You don't know exactly what it is. Okay, well, who can tell what it is? Anybody have can't the... Know. It's not, it's okay, negative Nancy. <laughs> I don't have the rules of the game. <laughs> 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 yeah, Alright, yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. All right, so that's all at the end of your turn. Moon, you're up. It's still not around the corner. Uh, I, mm, I can't see nothing. <laughs> I'm not with everybody else. Uh, well, if you move, you'll be around the corner. So, yes, yeah, so okay. I will okay. continue moving around, uh, still watching because I don't know what's happening around the corner. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm going to keep going up the 15 feet left uh-huh. to the corner so I can see the alley and I can see the market to the right. Okay. I'm assuming that's the direction I'm going. Yeah. Um, and okay, so what I'm going to do um, but I don't know all that just happened so that makes it a little more <laughs> non-true to form. Um, well, you can see the fairy fire. It's still up. Okay. So that you can see. So I can see that that hasn't hit anything. Right. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So this is what I want to try. I want to ca- conjure up Silent Bob. Okay. Um, because I'm still at the corner. So n- not that I need to do it in front of the people that I can't see and don't know that are there. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to conjure up Silent Bob in the form of 
one of the people that I, or a figure that looks like one of the people that I saw them talking to. Okay. Um, so the same black robe, mm -hmm. the same, mm -hmm. you know, it looks like it belongs right. to one of their group okay. or whatever. Um, and I'm going to have this faith figure person or whatever, um, not run directly into the alley, but within clear view mm -hmm. of everything that I'm going to have. Okay. Maybe, um, can I see all the way down to the other end? How long is this alley? Um, the alley is about 75 feet long. Okay, that's I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, no, yeah, it's, no, it it's goes out to another street. Yeah. <laughs> but that's too far for me to conjure about. Um, so then I'm going to have to keep it on this side mm -hmm. and have it not running, but looking urgent, but mm -hmm. I need it to be there long enough. So someone, someone might be able to see, see it. it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, yes, uh, you conjure, you, you silent image, uh, <laughs> which we have named the Silent Bob. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Bob. Um, in a black long cloak um, with the hood up over uh, his head. And uh, he runs to the mouth of the alley, sort of in front of you, and he, he kind of like looks like around. Um, and then just keeps keeps running. So he stays there for like a, a second, and then looks, and then just keeps yeah. keeps running. Yeah. Uh, do yeah. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, All right. I, I I have no tell for Bob. We never oh. worked that out. Um, but it would look kind of odd. I would assume you guys <laughs> you chase somebody down, and now there's someone. Oh, well, there were know. more. So there was at least one more. You can't see. So. We're around the corner, but yeah. she she might also alert them, yeah. the the people as well that is not real. So, but I mean, I'm yeah. right at the corner. So if y'all see see me, I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Bob alert. Alrighty. So is Bob running towards us, so or the other way, the other way, right? No, he's he's, he's ran like like across like across the alley. Okay. Yeah. Like so yeah, not we, into the alley at all. Uh, but well, most of you guys are actually technically looking the other way. Yeah. So yeah, no, she's sh trying to do it for the benefit of if, if if anybody is still in this alley, like friends that they might like uh, rebuild yeah, themselves some way. Or, I'm just yeah, saying, cause yeah. If I saw it, I'm still gonna chase after that. Okay. <laughs> you know, y'all are all looking at the other end. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping that they're looking at y'all and can see behind you. Yeah. All right. So I know it's that person is doing okay maz you're up damn it <laughs> oh um <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not a magic user so what? i'm just gonna turn around mm -hmm. and walk back the other way <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> well i mean there's nobody there on that end just Oh yeah, just I'm I'm near the end, near the market. Right? Yeah, so you're so. walking back to me. Okay, yeah. all right, <laughs> all right. Like yeah. yeah. patient. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I mean, <laughs> okay. if everybody's looking one direction, why just keep focus on one side when everybody's already on that side? Just go the other way, right? Okay, I'll be there. All righty. So, uh, George, we are back at your turn. Mm -hmm. Um, and you were about 15 feet from the opposite end of the alley. Okay, well, George, he's gonna run to the end of the alley. Okay. And just, like, peek to see mm -hmm. if anything's there. Okay. Um, you see, um, a few people, um, walking along the street. Um, some with packs, um, some not so much. Um, but you don't see anyone in... Black robes. Mm. Yeah, they just robed hard. This robe. Okay. In that <laughs> case, George is gonna yell down the alley. Mm -hmm. You dropped your vial. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Smart. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, uh, and actually, <laughs> since we have someone next, we we were chasing. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So you said it. It's in the air. It's it was heard. Is it possibly? Yes. Okay. Maybe. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. And so that is the end of oh, that's my... their turn. <laughs> that's the end of their turn. Okay. Philaris? Um, okay. I'm wondering when I find a steed, how do I know what their level of intelligence is? Like, how do I know? When you what? When I uh, find a steed. Find steed? Yeah. Like, if I were to summon a steed, uh -huh. a spirit animal um, steed. Mm -hmm. um, it says that they're unusually intelligent and strong, and like if their um, intelligence is less than five, then it goes up to six. Like, how will I know? Hmm. Like that is a good question. Ah, let me look at um. Look at the DM <laughs> uh, my iPad doesn't stay up very well. Uh, let's see. So, find steed. Let's see what we can find on that because I'm not very familiar with that one. Um. And it says that it has like the um, statistics from being mm. a celestial player fiend. So I'm just like, how? Old oh are you? wow. How okay. Old are you all of that about it. Okay. So let's do a normal horse real quick, and then mm -hmm. I'll. Uh, see Not a mule. I was gonna do a mastiff this time. <laughs> just so he blends in well with anything, because he's my dog. <laughs> you know what's that's funny you said that somebody tried to offer me a free mastiff puppy mm. at the bar. What? At the bar? <laughs> um, they have the dog with them. It was me because when I lost my ferret, I went to live at the bar and he saw how sad I was and he was like, if you get that sad over something, a creature so small, and he was like, I'll give you a mastiff puppy for free. Aw, that's really <laughs> sweet. Interesting. What? You already got how many dogs yeah. in your home? Yeah. And you don't need a mastiff. Yeah, that's I a don't lot. need a mastiff. Okay, so let's see. But it was a nice change. Uh, oh, I gotta click on it. Otherwise, it's not gonna show me. It's not gonna fault. There's something. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, Top Resort. No, it's old, though. My dad bought that. I was trying to look it up on like forums and stuff. It wasn't. Okay, so. So you were asking about the intelligence, right? Um. Yeah, the intelligence How? and then their characteristics. Characteristics, like, okay. I want to choose whether it's a celestial therapy, but I want to know what it thinks I'm being. Okay, so for a regular horse, the intelligence would be two, mm -hmm. which is a negative four uh, to the modifier. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually not even sure what's it. Mine says that, that is, if it's less than five, it automatically that it becomes six. Six, okay. So, um, which would still give it a negative two. One, two? Yeah. Um, to that. Ooh, we're going to we're gonna have to, to look at this. So they have something called Conjure Celestial. I wonder if that might tell you something else <laughs> to add to the horsey. Okay, so let's see. Do, do, do. No, they're dead, actually. <laughs> Okay, so what are you what are you trying to do with uh with the the steed? Um, I wanted my mastiff to kind of like sniff around, look around mm -hmm. while I went back and took because oh, we have to a mile apart to communicate telepathically. Right, right, right. So I wanted them to continue like looking for these people while okay. I went back into the marketplace to talk to some of the shop owners mm -hmm. in the places where these people were. To okay. See what they noticed about them. Okay. Um. Okay, we're just gonna homebrew this right here all right uh we'll give uh i'll even give it an intelligence of eight okay um yeah how, how long does it take to conjure to uh, do this well uh casting time oh uh, 10 minutes. Oh, okay, no, yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. I mean, I if, thought for, for some reason it lasted 10 minutes, but it lasted instantaneously. Oh, okay. So. All right. So, yeah, in this case, you wouldn't be able to do it in the round. You'd have yeah. to wait until it's over to do something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. All right. So, is there anything yeah. else you want to do? <laughs> I don't know now. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I talk with my group? A uh, very short, like, because it takes your action, basically, okay. which would be about six seconds. So, like, yeah. very, very short. Unless you guys want to, I mean, you can end the chase right here, uh, technically. I mean, what are oh, we chase? Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. didn't realize it. It's like, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh -huh. That's kind of where I'm at. Honestly, I agree. Yeah. So, yeah, we should uh, mm -hmm. first hoop. All of us. All of us. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, okay. Yes. Can I just can I just the, yell the out sound like is really low. Okay. I can't believe y'all would be so mean to an old lady and a twelve year old and cast vicious mockery. <laughs> oh, shame. Uh, is that like a range? Yeah, or? it's got a sixty foot range, and all they have to do is be in earshot. Okay. Uh, sixty feet. Throw. Where were you at? Okay, so you were about mid alley. Okay. Um, wisdom saving throw. Um. Uh, at this point, actually, at this point, yeah, you go ahead and, and cast it, but you don't get a response. Yeah. So they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. Well, we have their vial. What color? Is, what color is the stuff in the vial? Wait, have we ended? The I don't know. Chase. Chase. Are you ending? Oh, we have to end the chase. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So. I'm still summoning my mastiff. Okay, so you're gonna start. So you're taking ten minutes to summon the mastiff. Okay. So while she's doing that, uh, the the liquid in the vial is a not a little bit darker than like a pale gray. Woo! Come to touch my leg. The fan. Y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, that's on video, yo. <laughs> They all oh, heard it. Oh, they all heard it. Somehow, got out and was in the bathroom when they got out of the shower. My no, no, my no, that's why we don't have snakes in my house right there because they get out. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. What was the? What was the? Uh, it's a little darker than like a pale gray. What silvery gray? Okay, so <laughs> I turned it up. Yeah. Hopefully that's better. Hopefully that's they didn't hear better. Me. Why oh no, they heard that. That was pretty loud. That was plenty loud. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, now I'm going to get a feather. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is going to be jumping all the time now. It scared the crap out of me. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was a spider on my leg. I was about to flip this chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Clearly <laughs> not an actual cat because the cat even just ate him. <laughs> hey. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I'm thinking it's about the yeah. truth, but yeah. so. All right, what else are you guys doing? I'm. Is Silent Bob still running around? Um, How long does he last? He lasts for 10. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> oh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Just 10 okay. minutes or how so long I want him. He's still around for. Yeah, if I want him to be, but if we've stopped the chase and I see all you guys like casually walking out of the alley, I'm probably going to drop over that concentration. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, if you see me casually walking, it's because I don't give a crap. (laughs) (laughs) No, I mean, I've heard her, it's now I've made it to that point, so I've heard her yell for Abuelita things, and (laughs) nobody seems to have taken the bait from Silent Bob. Nobody's taken the bait. Nope. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that concentration because okay, it's tired. Oh my god! Ugh. All right, so yeah, she still got minutes so on her her finding steed. What else? Anybody else doing anything? Oh okay. Uh, huh? I'm trying not to have a heart attack. Okay. <laughs> Please don't have a heart attack on camera. I don't know what you mean. So or off camera for that matter. Except that tag wears colorful clothes. Hag? Well, not, not, but like darker colors. First of all, the name Hag came from a jilted lover. And... I'm just saying we should She's not. still a hag. I agree. Tell her it's a mirror. No, it's a mirror. It's a mirror. Okay. Let's call it's her a mirror hag. Okay. So, <laughs> why don't. Pull her tail. Step on it. Pull, pull it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Step on her tail. <laughs> I feel like Zanir, not the old hag. I feel like she's like a key to all of this. Yeah. So, what if you we know? pretend we that we. Why don't we Let's put, see. like, get some. I wonder what kind of things she likes. Maybe we can act like it's from her ex lover and <laughs> give it to her. Depends on how that goes. Well, that's not the case. She might set it in flame, like, <laughs> <Saint in George. laughs> while you're holding it. <laughs> you know who we should ask? Mr. Sorrell. He's the one that knows her best. He doesn't know her any over anything. You know, he might give up secrets. Exactly. So y'all want to walk back up? Where are we going? 
these are gonna be the kind of secrets that nobody should know. Oh, nice. I'm gonna run around town screaming them all out. It's been 16 years. Me and George will hold hands and skin down to the alleyways. We'll expose them. <laughs> yes, exposure. <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do, I'll give you guys a little bit of time to think about it. We're gonna take a 10 minute break. So, what were you uh, planning on doing? We still have Hilanis, who is um, <laughs> conjuring, <laughs> conjuring her <laughs> master. <laughs> Maybe so we'll say two minutes left on that. <laughs> and what are the rest of you guys doing? I think we should go back to where they bought that. Um, didn't you say they bought some sort of cloth? cloth or, uh -huh. Oh, one of them did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, hold on, let me think. Who bought the cloth? Actually, yeah. So the one, no, um, the one that you guys lost originally, um, that you lost. The big one. Yeah, the other tall one was the one that bought the cloth. But yes, the you rough can. one, huh? The rough one that doesn't know how to treat women. Oh no! Yeah. No, no, no! Yeah. The other tall one, the one that you were you were originally really following. Okay, really. Yes. Cool. So if within the whole scuffle and everything, that person disappeared, Man. so that was the one that bought the cloth. So yes, you can go back. Um, Let me treat a lady. <laughs> uh, you can go back to that uh, that stall if you would like. Okay. Didn't you say that they dropped something, Nas? Come on, George yelled that out. Letting them huh? know. The vial of the goo. Why you gotta scream? <laughs> the pale gray liquid. I like to see them try to take it from me. Mm -hmm. Wait, talk yes, to I have it. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm just saying because when we go say, you know, we want more information on them, we can say because they dropped their stuff and we want to give it back. Nice. Yeah, they gotta trust us. We're not gonna let them touch the stuff. <laughs> I'm stingy. I get snatched and it's mine. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you guys head back um, to the uh, market square, and um, Mama V, you saw them. You saw the stall that the this uh, this other the third person had uh, bought this cloth from, and uh, so you get to the stall and. Um, <clears throat> There's actually a pretty young uh, girl there, um, and uh, she is currently like folding some of the other like uh, pieces of clothing and cloth, and just kind of you know uh, organizing everything as people have kind of looked through them. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm gonna cut the. I excuse me. We were here, mm -hmm. um, and my my grandmother she bought people and they drop something so we're trying to find them do you know anything about them their names or where they're come from but they were wearing these cloaks these dark cloaks hmm i did see one person like that um yeah uh, did by chance catch where they were from or who they were with or anything like that a name maybe i i didn't i didn't get a name um they did have a, a weird accent um I, I don't I don't I don't know. Um, it was it was kind of like the accents. Hold on a second. Yeah. Still getting used to my world, so <laughs> <laughs> I must give you remember. How are we gonna? And I was going slow. Oh, you asked me about the last one. That's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tony being silly. It was really good. Yeah, silly. It's probably silly. Um, wow. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here wow. we go. Here we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So um, the the accent had a little bit of um a town called Aberdeen like a, like some of the words sounded like people talk from Aberdeen but um it, it wasn't quite that so I don't know if they are maybe from somewhere else and maybe live there or something else but it was a bit familiar but not <laughs> not enough you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. does George know anything about Aberdeen she is smart um she is smart um I don't know anything about Aberdeen my <laughs> <laughs> make uh make history checks. Yes. Uh yeah, actually. Yeah, go ahead. 
Uh, George got 14. 14? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm at the edge of the bowl. <laughs> 19. Like, oh, gosh. It's mama week. Uh, eight. Eight. I can barely read. I got a seven. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so um, Aberdeen is a, it's not even a town. It's sort of like a village. Um, it's definitely smaller than a town. And it's at the base of um, this, uh, what do you call it? Sort of like canyon. At the bottom of the canyon? Yeah, sorry, yes, it's at the bottom of the canyon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. And... Um, it, it's fairly well known, even though it's pretty small. It's pre it's fairly well known for being in in this canyon because the canyon is not too too big, and so it takes up the the whole floor uh, of the small canyon. Do they like live in the like in the rock or like a little bit of both? So at the base, um, and then there are some um, from what you you guys know of it. Um, there are some. It's kind of built up into the canyon, but a lot of the the animals. Um, that had that go to pasture are in the base because there actually is grass in, in the bottom <clears throat> so yeah and it's not um it's probably from chesterfield it's probably about 10 day travel that's far yeah it's pretty yeah it's kind of far but yeah <clears throat> Do you know, did they come here often? And was this the first time that you had seen them? Um, this is this is the first time I have seen um this person. Um there were there was someone here um a couple of days ago. Okay. Um that had black cloaks. Not a lot of people wear like just full black cloaks, and then then she kind of like looks at you. <laughs> um but uh so there was one that I noticed before. Um they didn't come by anything for me. But um this person did did yes. What they buy? <clears throat> hmm? What they buy? Um they bought this this cloth that my sister um weaved. It's uh it was very it was it was kind of like a white base, but then it was um in reds and blues and purples. So I asked what it was for. He said it was a, a present for his wife. Hmm, that's, mm -hmm. I think I know the, just the woman that would like a cloak like that. <laughs> <laughs> George says, but yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. Are you going to ask any questions? What? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Hey, guys. You remember my friend Sean I made? Mm -hmm. the, the cool guard guy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am, though. But you never he mentioned Zanir and how she loves cloaks just like that one. Yeah. Did he mention cloaks? He did. She said she likes to wear cloaks that are... Oh. Beautiful. Wow. Don't George. Notes. That's a, <laughs> Look George at my notes, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, I have to say that George has the most beautiful, very thorough things I've ever seen. So just let's just keep that in mind. That maybe she is a whole old hag for a reason. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mom, sorry, Mama. Everyone but you, and Mama. <laughs> I mean, is, well, how old are you though? Sorry. 60. Okay. 60. Well, I mean, she's like at least 120. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Twice your Still. Age. But yes, yes. <laughs> I need this for broken in. Broken in. Broken wow. in. Wow. I'm not sure that's better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Experienced. Okay. I like that. Season. 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 You know, guys, I think I have oh, an idea of where these people went. Laris. Okay. okay. The house, the spiral house. Really? I mean, that's his wife. Just, well, let's go be well, he said it was his wife. Down, then. Oh, uh, I said, I, this is just my idea. <laughs> She's not allowed to go. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk to Zanier eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Well, are you still mad about the library? <laughs> well, I have to wait. Okay. I have to wait because they may be a little annoyed at us right now. And oh, so yeah. I have to wait for them to. Y'all did come on pretty strong. Very strong. <laughs> I asked nicely. Yeah. I made, I don't remember if I said please, but I asked nicely. 
I don't remember if I said that. <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't think you said please. You've never said please. Uh-huh. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are you guys doing? Going. We're going to, to the spiral house. Um, yeah. Spiral house. Okay. Or if, if wait, yeah. maybe we should talk to that guy at the Sorrel. Sorrel. Yeah. The her what ex. Do you call it? The nutty scholar. <laughs> <laughs> it's her ex. I oh, love it. So <laughs> maybe he, he would know what she's up to. And if he wants to, like, he fought maybe her already. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why they they had that big old fight because she was up there cheating. Somebody else getting her robe. I mean, come on. Mm, <laughs> interesting. Oh, I'm just, I'm making up stories. We should just go ask her. I bet you she's very nice. I'm with Mama Bakri. I'll she make her some tamales. Ooh. <laughs> Your special can, salsa, the kind I love. I can make that. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go off no. and make some tamales for us? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you gonna go and make these um, swellies? She doesn't look a day past one oh five. Thanks. Did she even have to look to you said that? <laughs> um, I think you might be talking about Sorrel anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I guess I can um, book it back to the end okay. and um, try and. Uh, Make some tamales really quickly. It's gonna take a couple hours. <laughs> That's not quick stuff. No. <laughs> really, I don't really know. It takes okay. a while. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, is anybody going back to the end with Mama Bakri? I'm not. Not okay. Sorry, so because there's no reason for me to watch her. I can't. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what? Uh, what are you guys gonna be doing in the two hours, mm-hmm. or at least a um, couple hours? Is the thing. I will go play. back to the. Nutty scholar. Okay. And kind of sit in the store since he doesn't seem inclined to give me the books. Mm-hmm. I'm not really feeling like I should pay for them yet. So I'm going to go back there and browse them. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go talk browse to Browse for hours. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, I'll go with Mood. Okay. I'll go. Like okay. George Wolf Brown. Where are you going? I guess. Okay. So you guys are resting. You guys are going to. Great pictures. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, I play with the bell. <laughs> what the door? <laughs> See how much reading you can get done now. He's kind of mean. He's kind of mean. That's all. Awesome. All right. Okay, so uh, okay, so I'll get to you guys in just a second. Uh, Mama, yeah, you get back to uh, the rested night. <laughs> Um, in and uh, you see Rin, uh, the owner of the establishment, tending uh, the front. Mm-hmm. Rin, do you mm-hmm. mind? I brought all of my ingredients. I'm gonna make some tamales and some salsa, mm-hmm. and I'll leave some here for you to sell. But I wanted to take some as a gift to um, Sorel. Actually, I'm really interested in finding out about her and really talking to her. <laughs> Sorel was the the, the buddy scholar. <laughs> 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 Um <clears throat> why of course you can use the kitchen. You you guys saved my inn from burning down. So okay, of so course much. you can you may use the kitchen um in the inn. Um but you're going to speak to Zanir? Yes. Do you know her? <laughs> I, I know of her. I've seen her around a couple of times. Does she ever order from here? No. No. Not at all. She eats. <laughs> oh, okay. Us. Well, the kitchen is yours. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. All right, so um, the rest of you head back uh, past the uh, the twisted house of uh, Zanir, um, and a couple doors down to the Nutty Scholar. Uh, <laughs> walking into the door, you hear the familiar ding 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 of the the bell at the door, <clears throat> and uh, you see you go in and you see Sorel at the. Um, uh, he's basically like tending to the shelves and so he's kind of cleaning up a little bit um you see him kind of take a book off the shelf and he just kind of pages through it a little bit okay and then puts it back yeah. <laughs> all right <clears throat> um so i'm gonna hey george what's oh. his name sorrel <laughs> back hey, so sorrel. soon yeah sorrel mm-hmm. it's great to meet you i was thinking about those books mm-hmm. and i was wondering if i could like look through them and see if i wanted to buy them 
He's like, I did get a chance to look to see if I had um, some books for you. And I, there is one, I do have one left on um, the history of Chesterfield. Um, so if you would like to uh, to look at that one, uh, there is that one. <clears throat> I, I will. Thank okay. you. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to find a corner and just basically start with the table of context, move through the index, and see if there's anything <laughs> wow. interesting. There's a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> okay. Through the index and see if there's any buzzwords that I might want to look at first. Okay. Um, but essentially just scanning through the first time to see. Okay. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, so, yeah, you look through the... <clears throat> You look through the book and looking at the uh, table of contents, um, you see it starts out with a, a history of the area after what is called the smitening. Um, so you you all actually know about this. This was sort of a, a large um, war that happened a few hundred years ago. Um, and it was basically the war between the gods. Um, <laughs> uh, well, actually, the, the war between the elder gods is what I should say. <clears throat> now I got to erase that. <laughs> Just pull out the carrot. Yeah, little carrot. Elder. Uh, between the elder gods. And this was sort of the birth um, of the, the pantheon of gods that exist today. Um, ended up after this smitening. And so there's a bit of a history of the area after uh, that event. Um, it wasn't necessarily known as Chesterfield at that time, um, but you do get a bit of a history on that. Um, <clears throat> and then you get a history, uh, you see uh, the founding of Chesterfield, you see um, the uh, sort of, it's like the first 20 years and so it kind of breaks it up in, in blocks yeah, yeah. within the years. So it's a general history? Yeah, sort of a general history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And so, yeah, you get the, that's the table of contents. Okay. Um, I'm going to look, go to the index and mm -hmm. look for um, <clears throat> DeJore's people. Um, okay. Being mentioned. So, yeah, yeah, you go, you go to, mention. um, to the index and you go to the Y's, um, and there does not seem to be any listing. Yeah, maybe listing for Yanti. What about um other mm -hmm. like maybe they didn't know what they were called, so mm -hmm. Blizzard just harden. Okay. <laughs> so so looking or, you know, <laughs> any, any alternate <laughs> words. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so you go through, you start looking for reptilian, lizard, snake, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, right, you don't, <laughs> she's not here to, oh, she's, she's on the street. street. Oh, she's, she's, uh, well, yes, yeah. she's going to harumph you. Uh, <laughs> so you don't see anything under those, but in kind of looking through, you do see sort of, uh, you see a heading for, for races. Mm -hmm. Um, and you see human, you see halfling, you see gnome, um, you see elven, um, you see dwarven, um, you see, um, uh, yeah, you see, yeah, you see an other, um, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, but you don't see any specific listing for any of those, uh, things that you're looking for, yeah. Okay. Um, then I'm going to flip to the pages. Um, I'm interested in two things. War of the Gods, because anytime you have war, there's always residual. <laughs> no one is illegal. Okay. Um, so we're going to... No one is illegal. So, so under the races, I'm going to look at that unknown or other category uh -huh. and um, <clears throat> see if the, any of the descriptions or... Um, what, how they describe these other unknown categories to see if there's maybe a connection okay. uh, to the Yanti. <laughs> so um, this town is uh, is not really on like any type of like water area. Okay. There's like so a lake. Okay. Um, there's a lake, um, sort of a large lake that's kind of attached to the town, but it's not on any sort of big uh, body of water. Um, 
So there doesn't seem to be anything um, uh, that might be attached to water. Yeah. So some of the races, um, they're just not just not in it um, okay. in this uh, this book. Okay. Um, hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> You're making lots of noise over there. Shh. <laughs> Just like a cat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. Um, you do see a few of the sort of lesser known um, races. So you do see like um, like a, like a, like a light entry on like orcs um, and stuff like that. But you don't see anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Actually, you don't see anything on Janasi yeah, yeah, in this town. Yeah. Um, nobody important for the town is like Janasi. No. Well, okay. in this book, yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to skim very briefly over the war mm -hmm. between okay. the gods, but um, most of my focus is going to be on the founding mm -hmm. um, of the town okay. in the early. Uh, <clears throat> at this point, you're going to be getting here, getting the. You're going to be here for a while. <laughs> to get through okay I mean, so how much like, how much does this book cost <laughs> um <clears throat> uh this book you're looking at about six gold <laughs> really? okay um i use an independent bookseller he probably would negotiate okay but this gold a lot man <laughs> So for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit because either way I have to sit down with this book. So yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe I can talk him down to four gold. Okay. There was a captive audience. So I respect your game, sir. I respect your game. Um, so for now, I'm just going to sit in my corner okay. and browse through. If y'all want to leave me there or, you know, whatever y'all want to do. Okay. Wanna, I'd like to approach Sorrel. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Sorrel, I was reading yes. my the scripture last night. Uh -huh. I, I came uh -huh. across this. Um, here's that. This, like, <laughs> <laughs> I came across this, across this verse. It said... Uh -huh. Tis better to have loved and lost than to oh never have loved and lost. Hey, I'm trying to get permission. <laughs> what is this? I, I'm, I, I'm so naive and I'm green. I'm 12. I don't really know what that means. Like, can a wise old man, oh, I'm sorry. A wise man like you teach, wow. explain what this means? I have a lot to learn, especially from my elders. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> also, you own a bookstore, so you must know. I follow deer, by the way. Praise deer. <laughs> I want no, no. He says, uh, mm, "Blessings to you, child." Blessings to you. Um, um, mm, Dira. That's that's an interesting deity. That's not one that we have a temple for here. In oh, I'm from fields. faraway lands. Mm, okay. Um, well, based off of my knowledge, I would say that it is better to have people in your life than to go at it alone. So that's why she never leaves me alone. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Interesting. Sorrel, has anyone ever told you... That you're a tough nut to crack. Mood is trying to Why does this work so hard for me? Twelve-year-old girl interrogate this man awkwardly. Wow. I'm so bad. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, he says, actually, yes, I have heard that before. You know what's always something that melts hearts and souls? Mama V's great tamales. <laughs> I heard a little birdie told me she'll be around here to give you some. So, Sounds interesting. Yeah. All right, talk to you later. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just going to go off and sit in Samir's front yard and play with my bear. And I, okay. go out, I go out with her and uh -huh. I just get next to her and I start purring. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> weird. That's really weird. That's really weird. Playing my dog and petting my cat and playing my life. 
It's a good time. It's a good time. It's a good time. It's a good time. Okay, all right. Um, Am so, I done with my tamales yet? Yeah, we'll say at this point, uh, yeah, you're heading back with your tamales. Okay. So I'm going to tell... Um, so, oh, Ren. Ren, thank you. <laughs> Ren, okay, I made 12 dozen. I'm going to take two dozen with me. That leaves 10 dozen so that you can sell. They're very tasty. You should sell them in pairs for at least a gold piece because I spent a lot of time on these and they're super tasty. Okay? So like ten silver, like ten silver for two or for three, you know, make it make make some profit to me. Okay, you need to rebuild those stables, okay? Oh, why well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I I sure will. Okay, but if my girls come back, make sure they get some too, okay? Because they get really mad if I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will. Well, she already told you no. <laughs> I she, she'll forget. She'll forget. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 She's so used to me saying off the wall shit. She, she, she'll forget. All right. Okay with so you're you're heading back uh, to <laughs> the. Uh, oh, actually, where are you going to the bookstore? Or are you going to? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume that everybody's by the bookstore. Okay. All right. So you take the 15 or so minutes uh, walking down the street and you get to the, (laughs) the, yes, you get to the twisted house and you see in the front yard, Hilanis (laughs) playing her lyre and singing (laughs) and having, you know, all sorts of fun. And you see Maz uh, next to her purring. (laughs) Along, <laughs> but I don't see Moon or George. You do not see Moon or George. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna let them do their magic. Okay. To God that they annoy her out of her house. <laughs> and tell me to shut up, please. <laughs> and go to the bookstore and pick up the other girls. Okay, so Helena, is going to make a performance check. Did you say pick up the other girls? It sounds like you're a pepper shake. But I'm not. I'm just a pretty girl. Yeah. Mama. Fourteen. Fourteen? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's making a performance check. Oh. Okay. So, after about 30 minutes of playing outside wow. <laughs> of the, the Twisted House, <laughs> you... <laughs> You hear um, a window open, no way. and looking no up, no way. It's, it's, it's like on the second floor. <laughs> you see a, a window opens, and you see golden hair and golden skin. And um, but her expression is not very golden, mm-hmm. and she does this little like flourish with her hands, Ooh, you to get God. and all of a sudden, silence. <laughs> she was such. <laughs> <laughs> you're still playing. Oh. You're still singing. <laughs> you're I need that. I you're like that my guitar string. Yes, you are still playing, and you are still singing, mm-hmm. and you are still purring. But no, you can't even hear yourself, and you can't hear her. No, she no, shuts it. Will it be wrong? She shuts it. That's the kind of elder I want to be. And then shut the window. Keep going. Well, that didn't work. And you can't really talk to each other. The thing you went inside the bookstore, Mama. Is that yeah. a charm? Because I can't be charmed. <laughs> that is not a charm. <laughs> but that is good to know. <laughs> huh. All right. So I go into the store, yeah? Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, we better go pick up the others, because they're causing a ruckus on her front porch. <laughs> You mean on Mrs. Anir's porch? Yes. Mm. What a shame. 
You know what to say. <laughs> so I, I'm looking at this book right now. Uh -huh. um, have I made it through okay. the founding? So, uh, the founding of the city? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I just want to know if I, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I skimmed the gods part. You skimmed the gods part. So, um, and that, really that most either. people actually kind of know about anyway, because that's just general knowledge, actually. Um, <clears throat> but as far as the, the founding of the city, what you've got in, 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 in the, the bit of time that you've been going through this is that there were a bunch of, um, bunch of people who left, um, a different town, um, because it was the, the, the town that they had originally come from, um, it was not accepting of people that, um, that followed the the gods that they did. Okay. Um, so Coes was one of them. He was one. He's like one of the main gods of Chesterfield. Coes. Coes. Yeah. <laughs> and so they left and kind of started their own city, um, which is Chesterfield. They found this grove of the chestnut trees mm -hmm. and decided to kind of build uh, within it and start to cultivate the chestnuts um, and use that for trade. Um, <clears throat> but that's. That's, it was just a group of people that actually okay. found this, this area. Okay. Um, okay. That makes me curious <clears throat> about the particular gods and what those gods might require. Mm -hmm. So note to self, look into Coes. Okay. Uh, to see, again, what the gods of this area might require. Um, and I'm, I see Mama B, um, so I'm telling I want to talk to you about this. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just reading about the founding and I'm trying to look at the history of this place to see if there's something that might help us figure out where or what to do, where to go. Because I don't think we have any leads right now um, other than the talking to the woman, mm -hmm. which I have to leave to you because we both know that that's not, <laughs> it's not a thing. Um, so I have mics. <laughs> I told you about the tamales. They're here. I should have shouted that as soon as I heard the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, do you want me to? Can I buy this book and bring it with, or? Well, how much um, is the book? Six gold. What? <laughs> exactly. No, no. Come in. Come in. Oh, Mr. Sorrell. Oh, yes, another mm -hmm. friend of yours. I yes. brought the tamales. They told me that they told you all about them, and I just spent the last three hours forming them, and they are so tasty. I usually charge, usually charge <laughs> about four gold a dozen. And I happen to have a dozen here for you. I was wondering if we could perhaps make a trade one dozen tamales, and then we'll pay you. Well, not necessarily a trade, but a little discount on this book okay. because we are so interested in just learning more about it and helping everybody here. Okay. Um, exactly what is a tamale? <laughs> so <laughs> it's this wonderful little like pocket. It's got um, masa on the outside, which is made from corn, and then I have this really tasty meat in the middle, and then I have this salsita that's made with tomatillos and cilantro and jalapeno. Oh, oh, <laughs> Anybody's stomach sorry. No <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, even Moon is looking up like <laughs> it's very it tasty. tasty. <laughs> you have two or three, and that's your whole meal. So with a whole dozen, you've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you are set. Uh make a persuasion check with advantage. Yeah. Oi. Oi, oi is right. Okay, twenty two. <laughs> Too. Okay. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, how do I get that? Well, um, my persuasion is plus eleven. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's a bard for you. All right. So, um, Sorrel, like, as you're like talking about this and the ingredients and everything, you can just see him kind of like leaning in. <laughs> yeah. And uh, because they're so fresh, the the smell like wafting. Oh <laughs> Wafting, it kind of gives you that little extra push that you needed to, to, to get this going. And so he's like, you know what? 
I, I think I will. I will try these tamales. <laughs> Very tasty. So here's a dozen. And in the morning when you're ready, you just put them on like a little burner and you twist them up real good. It's Make sure it's a little burnt on the outside. It's okay. nice to know how much. We'll, we'll do. So, how much. so for the book, so like I said, these are like four gold. So then can we just pass through the extra two gold for the book and we'll take it home with us? Sure. Okay, thank awesome. you so much. Yeah. So awesome. I did get to my pouch mm -hmm. and I give over to my gold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Six gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, I've got a book though. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you two still in the yard, like mouthing to each other? <laughs> 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 front of her house and all of a sudden you, you can hear our steps. Y yes. <laughs> yes. I need that in my life. Wow. <clears throat> That's good. Yeah. So do they get back to the bookstore before we leave? Huh? Do they get back to the bookstore before we leave? Uh, yeah, it's two doors down. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then do they do they tell us about this? She yeah. was rude. <laughs> um so I was Playing my music beautifully, I made it. <laughs> and, um, she came out the window looking gorgeous, looking mad. <laughs> Silence does. I don't know if the spell is still in her yard, if we try to walk over to her or not, if we're going to step into just a silent bubble. Um, but yeah, she's not into it. <laughs> not into the music. Not into the music. Or the Frankie. I don't know. Maybe if I had gone with classical. <laughs> <laughs> I thought India was the way to go. India? <laughs> <laughs> is it is India, I mean? Yeah, she's an indie. 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 Oh, indie. 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 Oh, indie. I was like, <laughs> okay, all right. I mean, that would also be interesting. Um, so, do so, you have any idea mm -hmm. how we can get up to her? I have like more tamales. <laughs> <laughs> His demeanor changes. Oh, oh. oh man. <laughs> Like, you better run out that book that book before you change No, it's done. It's mine. So yeah, like the he, he was all like smiley and happy and just, you know, helpful before. But it completely shuts down now that you are trying to find out information about his ex. <laughs> so um he goes highly doubt tamales would work on her and I just you should just forget about it forget about her do you know if she has any connection to like the black robed society <laughs> <laughs> I haven't spoken to her in 60 years so when she used to get mad at you <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what did she do <laughs> to soften her just a tiny little bit because clearly you were wrong <sighs> <laughs> i am done with this conversation oh, okay. y'all should know that we're talking about <laughs> i know i know it's not so wrong <clears throat> Tomorrow, I think I'm going to try making some video. I'll try. I'll bring you a bowl because it's also really tasty. But we'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> you see, like the hint of like a smile, and just, just a, like a little little nod. Yeah. Well, he wants free food, but can't get his info. He he paid for that food. That's well, true. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's free. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, what are you guys gonna do? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to her house and see if you want to try the tamales. 
I can always, you know, I can apologize for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> Uh, like the blaster door open? I don't know. Actually, her magic. What kind of creatures they were? I know humans. what they Humans. Humans, and then halflings were staying at the hotel before mm -hmm. the inn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've really seen at least yeah, one, true. the one Yanti that, that killed mm -hmm. himself. Mm -hmm. um, you've seen the one halfling. Yeah. Um, the one taller person that Drag the girl. The girl was human, mm -hmm. but you never saw his face, so you don't know what he was. Mm -hmm. um, and then the so other cool. one, you actually saw his face because he wasn't. Yeah, it was just a yeah, it was a human guy. The worst guy ever. That one. Uh, yeah. 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 Yanti's are actually equal though, so if I were to try to go over to the house and detect mm -hmm. that are evil, I could see if they were there. No. Wait, say it again. So Yanti's are like generally evil, right? Mm -hmm. But he's uh, felt not like good and evil. True. Not yeah, so yeah, not necessarily. Evil. Um, actually, now that I've been reading this book, um, mm -hmm. and be, and I'm talking to all of you guys now, uh, guys, because I've not found, now this is only one book. Mm -hmm. I need to get in that damn library. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I've not seen any reference to Yanti or reptilian or snake-like people. I've not seen anything referencing mm -hmm. the founding, nothing. So this may have been just... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a rogue actor you know what I mean? mm -hmm. like this may have just been a person separated from that community acting mm -hmm. with this whomever it is that we're looking for but i've not found anything related to the history that includes Jonesy mm -hmm. in this one book mm -hmm. but i need to get in that library mm -hmm. hey we got a dozen tamales <laughs> you want to try that on the <laughs> <laughs> I made a total of 12 customers. 10 back. 12 to Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> yeah, right. they are. Uh, Don't call me old. So at this, point, <laughs> okay. it's, at this point, you guys are just getting a little past dusk. Um, so it is starting to get dark. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know. So we're going to have to probably wait on the. At least the library is going to have to wait. Mm -hmm. so if they didn't let us in the middle of the day, <laughs> they're not going to work. <laughs> um, <clears throat> do you want to try and knock? Apologize for our sure. cohort. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you going to get us to open the door? I'm just going to knock. You don't want to send up one of your Abuelita good vibes up to <laughs> Good vibes. <laughs> I don't know how. I mean, I have a maid hand. I mean, did you tell us that there was a window? She opened, oh, yeah, the, she window opened the window to, um, to cast the spell. Uh, Yes, yeah, yeah, she did. She told mm -hmm. us there was. Screw I'm gonna make chance Molly's up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, so cool. If only that were my thing. Yeah, so we'll I am. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna knock with the main chance, uh -huh. and I'm gonna be like. Magic doer, that would be creepy as hell to anybody other than a magic doer. So, I'm so sorry for my girls. You guys, um, <laughs> so you guys, uh, hit two doors down, uh, to the twisted house, and you see, you point out the window that, okay. Um, so yeah, they point out the window that they saw uh, Zanir uh, <laughs> cast the spell from a little earlier. And uh, at this point, this, the spell has faded. <clears throat> but I'm going to try the front door first. Front I'll door first. It. Okay, so you knock on the front door. All right. And you wait. I can and you it. wait. I mean... <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> well, I right. only pull someone when that, nobody comes to the door it's been 10 minutes I'm gonna knock again okay you wait nothing if I were to try to command someone mm -hmm. would they know I was casting a spell on them or would they just think I was like being rude and shouting come at them um, usually they would they would know but depending on the spell it might be after the spell has yeah ended on them. I have to look that one up. <clears throat> okay, so um, and I'm gonna try the main chant and I'm gonna knock on the window. Knock on the window. Can. Okay. <clears throat> so oh <laughs> the main chant flies up. Is it also <laughs> holding the tamales? No. Okay. Okay. So okay. All right. So <clears throat> you, the main chant knocks on the window, and. At this point, that's a bit 
bit weird <laughs> for for someone in the home. So you do see like a shadow mm-hmm. at the window. Mm-hmm. You can't. You don't get any of the details or <laughs> anything. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, I'm going to have you make a persuasion check, but because these two, wait, 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 wait. because well, I have, because I can see the shadow, no, right? I'm, I'm stepping like, away. I'm so going you're, to so you're not gonna see. Down. Okay. Gonna me away? Well, I mean, at this point, she's fairly annoyed. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna say with disadvantage. Okay. Make a persuasion okay. check. Okay. With We're the first people to knock yeah. on her door. Even, even if my mind. I mean, you've knocked on her door three times today. <laughs> yeah. And then we've had people serenading her. Fourteen. Fourteen. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so uh, a minute after the mage hand knocks, the window opens, and you see. This again, golden hair, golden skin, and the expression is livid at this point. (laughs) And you hear, like, actually, who all is with her? I want to see three. Okay. So, (laughs) so you hear in your head, leave. Me alone. And then so I respond back to you because I know this magic. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you I'm so I'm sorry. Was... I apologize for my girls. I heard that they caused quite a disruption for you. Just wanted to bring you some tamales to apologize. I don't want any. They're really very tasty. Disadvantage one more time. <laughs> Come on. Do better. Cool. Do not do better. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the window. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was kind of loud. Sorry. <laughs> but do I window still see the shadow? Nope. She's walked away. Okay, so I'm gonna try and send a message. I, but I need some help figuring out what I'm gonna send her. Because I can send it through walls, around corners. Well, same like thing everything. with my mind link. I yeah. just have to see her. Um, so I'm <laughs> thinking I want to tempt her by telling her I have a rare book or something. Because that would work on me. Um, or some wild. information, or maybe, maybe we could send her a message and tell her. Uh, that Sorel uh, wants to talk to her, and he's very sad. Oh, oh I don't think that's my God. God. <laughs> oh, I no, no, she no, might no, no. like that oh, one. No. <laughs> yeah. What's the vial, though? That was the vial. Do you know that your friend dropped their vial, and we wanted to get it back? Oh, how about we found that? We found the vial, vial, and we need to help identify it. I want to know what it is. Yeah, we want to know what it is. Do you want to send it since you've already talked to her, or do you want me to try without the tomato attempt? She slammed the window. Mm-hmm. She doesn't deserve tomorrow. A person has a right to say no. They don't have to say no. <laughs> Did you have it? It's all Everybody has their bad choices. So what am I doing? Um, are we? Am I talk, trying? Yeah, I mean. Why not the Sorrel thing? That's all I'm saying. I mean, they live two doors down from each other. They haven't fought in 60 years. You are so 12 right yeah. now. <laughs> they love each other, okay? That's just a whole day overnight. No, it does over Never. 60 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I want to, um, I'm going to take a piece of copper, wrap it around my finger, mm-hmm. um, and I'm going to just gently send up, um, <laughs> send up this message. Cause I've already seen, like, I've heard and I've seen, I'm like, okay, let me not die trying to do this. So I might even back up a little bit and be like on the other side of the fence. So this like has a range. Don't you. You're no, a I'm not running. touching the door at all. I'm, I'm not just saying you're sending a message of money. I, no, I'm going to send it from a distance away just in case. Mm-hmm. Um, just slightly so I can send it up through the window. Um, and I'm going to say, 
We found a vial of gray type liquid. It was dropped in the marketplace, we think from the people who attacked and set fire to the inn down the road. Um, we need help. And I'm gonna send that, and then I'm gonna stay back to way. If y'all wanna stay in the line of fire, that's on you. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> next door now. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just watching from the bushes. <laughs> when uh-huh. she's running, that's a bad sign. All right. You hear um <clears throat> going to get worse. No. <laughs> I have no idea who you are. I have no help for you. And, and I tell them, I, I kind of inch, I'm like, okay, this is, I don't know, we, we've got, I've got nothing else. I got nothing. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Damn it. Darcy. <laughs> I'm going to talk to Zamir. <laughs> people weren't. Okay. Yeah. So what do y'all want to do? Just go back to the inn? See yeah. See if we can. Hmm. Do we have doors on our rooms? <laughs> yeah, I think we do. Because <laughs> we destroyed them. So oh, the destroyed. Uh-huh. The fire destroyed them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my, yes. So unless he's managed to rebuild the doors. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Okay. Are we heading back? Yes. That's yeah. All right. Okay. So we just got our asses kicked. Multiple times today, but I, I got my book thanks to the tamales. So. <laughs> All right, so you guys head back uh, about fifteen minutes or so uh, towards the the end, and uh, as you're walking back, you kind of walk past the stables, and you see they've actually gotten a little bit of work done, um, just enough to 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 keep the horses um, in there, like kind of clean up, and then to keep the horses in there now, mm-hmm. since part of that was broken down. Um, and it's, it's late. Uh, you do see, uh, that the stable hand is still sort of out there kind of, you know, doing some cleanup and stuff, but you go inside and it's not very many people on the inside. There's about two people, um, sitting at some tables and, um, and Rin, um, uh, and Rin is kind of behind the desk. Um, and he's talking to someone and the person that he talks to turns around and says, why are you looking for me? Don, Don. Is that Don? Don, Don, Don. And that's where we are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's where we are going to end Ooh. for the next episode. Let's hang your candy. <laughs> yeah. That was good. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for everybody that joined us tonight. We so love you. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, and like I said earlier, we will, um, this is kind of our first time doing all sorts of streaming and video and lighting and audio and stuff like that, but we are definitely getting better and we'll get better. So hopefully you stay with us, um, to continue on this journey. <laughs> Someone got hit by the and <laughs> just, <you>. sir, <laughs> <laughs> just remember that you are all beautiful and you are all welcome at our table. Thank you. And good night. So good.